Welcome to Signer Dairy. I'm Stefan Signer, and we're here in beautiful southern Manitoba. I farm here with my family, my wife, and our four children. Today, I'm going to take you on a little bit of a tour of our dairy farm, show you our cows, we milk Holsteins, uh, show you our calves, where they live, what they eat, and how we take care of them. So this farm has been here for over 100 years. About 30 years ago, my parents immigrated from Europe, and we were able to buy this farm. I grew up on the farm and even as a little boy, I was always helping out. Now I'm in charge of running the whole operation. Here we are in the cow pasture where we have some of our milking cows hanging out for the day. On a nice day like today where we have a little bit of cloud and a lot of wind, all the cows like to be out in the pasture. When it gets really hot, they prefer to stay in the barn. In the barn, the fans keep a nice breeze going through the building and it's always shady. While the grass is growing well and it stays nice and lush and green, we put the cows on a different pasture about every two weeks. That gives the grass a break and a chance to regrow. When the cows are not actively grazing, they're often resting and chewing their cud. Chewing their cud means they actually regurgitate some of the feed that they ate earlier and chew it a second time. They do this to help break down the tough grassy fibers and help get the maximum nutrients out of their feed. All of our cows wear these special collars with tags on the side of their neck. They're like cow Fitbits. They measure the activity of the cow, how much she's moving around, and they even have a microphone on the inside that listens to the cow's stomach churning as it's digesting her feed. The information from the microphone helps us to know if there's something wrong with the cow's tummy, and then we can help make her feel better. Each tag has a number that identifies her, so we know who is who in the herd. If anything goes wrong, we know which cow to look for so that we can treat her and help make her feel better. Here we are inside the milking barn where there's shade and the fans are making a real nice breeze through the barn. It's always comfortable and cool in here. Inside the barn, our cows rest on water beds and on top of the water beds, we put chopped straw. Straw is the leftovers of the plant when a grain farmer grows wheat or barley or oats, and we buy that from their farm, chop it up, and bring it into the barn to make clean, dry bedding. Our cows spend about half of their day just resting. Usually they're chewing their cud, sometimes they're even sleeping, but often they're just hanging out. Inside the barn, we have these slots in the floor. That's so that the poop and the pee can fall down and we can collect it. We can store it until the spring or the fall, and then we can haul it out onto the field and use it to fertilize our crops. Bless you. Inside the barn, the cows have a brush that they can use to scratch that nasty part on their back where their tails just won't reach. Oh yeah. When a cow decides she'd like to get milked, she walks into the robot anytime, day or night. The robot agrees that she's ready to be milked based on how long it's been since her last milking. It will start feeding her a special treat and at the same time, start preparing her for milking. The robot uses rotating brushes to clean the udder and make sure there isn't any straw or dirt stuck to her. After that, it will attach the teat cups, one on each quarter and start milking the cow. It measures both the quality and the amount of milk that the cow is giving. On average, each cow will produce about 32 liters of milk or eight gallon jugs every day. In Manitoba, we have processing plants that take the milk from our farms and either fill it into jugs for drinking milk or separate it for cream or use it to make sour cream, yogurt, butter, cheese, ice cream, and all sorts of delicious food. Our milk gets picked up every two days, so when you buy it in the store, you know it's as fresh as possible. Now you probably know that milk is an important source of calcium, which is important for strong bone and strong teeth. But milk also has a lot of protein, which is important for growing muscles and for your immune system. On top of that, milk is also an important source of a lot of other nutrients. Among these is vitamin D, vitamin B12, zinc, potassium, and magnesium. Now I'm gonna show you roughly what we feed to our cows besides the grass that they go and get themselves. And this is enough feed for a cow to last her one day. We'll start with 13 kilograms of grass silage, 
Then we'll take 20 kilograms of corn silage, top it off with four kilograms of ground corn and three kilograms of dry hay, and then add in three kilograms of feed that we purchase from the nutritionist. This is all of the vitamins and minerals that the cows need to stay healthy. Cows have four chambers where they digest their feed. First is the rumen, then the reticulum, then the omasum, and then the abomasum. The rumen is the biggest part where there's colonies of bacteria that help to break down the fibers that are in the grass, in the corn silage, and in the hay. Think about how much feed this is. If you think you could eat a lot, don't ever challenge a cow to an eating contest. We're here in the calf barn where we keep the young calves. These girls are less than three months old and they're still drinking milk. Now, you might wonder why these calves don't just stay with their mothers. It's important that they get the best start possible in their life. That means we have to make sure they get proper feed and that they stay healthy. And we can do a better job of making sure the calves stay healthy than cows. When young cows are about two years old, they have their first calf. And it's only after they have a calf that they start producing milk. But they produce way more milk than one calf can drink. We give each of our calves a name, and the first letter always matches her mother's name. So this here is Jessica. And I think she's getting pretty hungry. <laughs> 